If you're an adult with acne, you might wonder, how can this be happening at my age? And what in the world can I do about it? Acne can start during adolescence and continue into adulthood or just show up in adults who've never even had skin problems before. The good news is, experts can help. We're born with beautiful skin, but we're not truly aware of our skin until our teenage years. Right when everyone starts looking, the blemishes hit center stage. But acne isn't just for teenagers. It hits adults, too, often when they least expect it. It was not until I was in my 20s that I started regularly breaking out and was wondering what the heck, I thought I was done with being a teenager and now I'm breaking out. Lori Maris, an active mother of three, first noticed flare-ups during each of her pregnancies and then the battle began, Lori versus her skin. I always had these big sores on my face and makeup doesn't necessarily cover everything and it just made me feel awful all the time. Lori piled on the makeup even when she went to the gym. I was really bad in my 20s and all of that going to bed with makeup on and so I thought well maybe if I start washing my face regularly that might help. You drinking your water like I told you? Drinking more water. I had somebody tell me you know drink more water that'll clear your skin up and I tried a lot of the over-the-counter medications they didn't work so finally I, I went to my general practitioner for some treatment. Lori tried a prescribed topical antibiotic and even birth control pills to control her breakouts. After these approaches didn't work, Lori's physician referred her to a dermatologist. Her hope to find a solution for great looking clear skin. Wouldn't that be nice if there was one treatment that would be the end-all, cure-all treatment for everyone's acne. It would make things a little bit simpler, but it's, it's not that way. Sutter Medical Group physician assistant Katherine Lenz says treatment for acne involves some detective work. Hello, I'm good. When patients come in, we want to help them determine what type of acne they have and pinpoint the specific treatment regimen for them to help them clear their skin. For some women, it's related to hormones. Maybe they've recently had a baby, or they've, um, they are perimenopausal or menopausal, so we know that that's a hormonal factor. The main causes for men tend to be stress and environmental factors. If a guy suddenly starts going to the gym and working out more, and now he's going to have a little more acne on his back. And in other cases, the acne can be traced to a buildup of bacteria that's found on everyone's skin, but usually in smaller amounts. Once the type of acne is diagnosed, Catherine prescribes the treatment, anything from retinoids, antimicrobials and antibiotics, to hormone therapies and strong oil-stopping drugs. These medications are very powerful, so I like to make sure that they've tried other treatment options before we begin this therapy. This is a moisturizer that has the SPF 30 and I want you to give it a try. With all of these treatments, there's one common thread. If you want them to work, you have to stick with them. Consistency is extremely important and that's the routine, the routine that anyone can establish. It turned out benzoyl peroxide along with a topical antibiotic did the trick for Lori and now she's one of many patients who enjoy life-changing results. I feel great now going out with my clear skin. I'll actually go up to my friends at the gym and go, look, look, breakouts, I'm all clear, look how clear I am. Her confidence level has gone up drastically. She's coming in working out harder than ever. It's been really neat to see the change of her. Now this radiant mom vows to pass her knowledge along to her daughter. I will make sure as she's growing up that she washes her face every day and takes care of her skin and, and moisturizes as well because that's something I never did. I think a lot of people think that they've got to live with this. This is the cards they've been dealt and they're not going to be able to get rid of it and they absolutely can't. One more myth. Many people mistakenly believe that tanning or excessive sun exposure can help clear up acne, but in the long run, tanning often makes acne worse.